When you think about robots, you probably imagine something like this. A collection of transistors and motors packaged to look like a human being. But in the real world, there isn't much call for humanoid machines that play the trumpet. Most robots live in factories, where they repeat a few simple tasks over and over, with a degree of accuracy and endurance that a human couldn't hope to match. Car makers such as Toyota in Japan have led the way in making practical use of these machines on their assembly lines. Now, Toyota wants to apply its expertise in robotics to other fields, like medicine. This robot is designed to help a nurse gently carry a patient from his bed to the bathroom, a job that could otherwise take up to three people. Now we are facing the several problems and the highly aged society. So not only the mobility, but also the, our life. We believe robots can help. Of course, the completely independent robot is quite different from the real physical contact robots like those. So for, for instance, very gentle control to manipulate the part of the body and the others is uh, contacting technology and make the patient feel comfortable. But there's more to robot technology than moving immobile patients around comfortably and safely. This device, which uses gyroscopes and other sensors to respond to a user's movements, has the potential to help sick people get better. It might have looked like I was just playing an advanced version of a Nintendo Wii, but this is actually a very sophisticated piece of rehabilitation equipment used for stroke patients, uh, people with other walking disabilities, to train themselves in regaining their balance. These devices aren't yet widespread, but they've shown promise in clinical trials at this hospital in Nagoya. Dr. Eiichi Saito runs the rehabilitation program here. His leg is paralyzed from polio, and he became interested in the potential of healthcare robots as a result of his own disability. He now works alongside Toyota to develop the next generation of medical devices. If you can do everything, no need for robots. But if you can not do something in daily life, you should need helper. But uh, helper is uh, another person. They have the, their character and the relationship between him or her is somehow troublesome. But robot will assist you much more easily and uh, comfortably. So we want, to like, uh, we want to have like that robot. One of Dr. Saito's patients says the balance machine has given him a real boost as he recovers from a cerebral abscess, a debilitating inflammation in his brain. Many of these new technologies blur the line between robots and other motorized devices, like electric wheelchairs. Some are more like extensions of the human body than autonomous machines. Yoshiyuki Sankai, a professor at Tsukuba University, has developed a line of wearable exoskeletons that work by detecting brain signals, even faint ones from people with paralyzed limbs. These machines, he says, can help immobile people get around and even retrain their brains so they might eventually walk again on their own. この it will take time before machines like this are as common in hospitals as heart monitors or even MRI machines. Robots are expensive, and the regulation to deal with them just doesn't exist in many countries. But if robots do have a future outside of factories, it's going to be in places like this, not as shiny humanoid servants, but as extensions of our own human bodies. Jonathan Sobel, Financial Times, Nagoya.